Hello fish lovers, long time no see. Just wanted to show you my 175 gallon now, how it looks. Uh, the plants looked better, but I put in some nutrients actually because I moved them and uh, the gravel, I really cleaned the gravel a lot, so I didn't think my method of just keeping the fish poop and everything uh, was enough for the plants, but it really was because now they look terrible. They have uh, you see, it's pretty much pleco heaven if you have uh, if, we, if you would have been breeding all the synclis or uh, brisimos plecos in here. But I don't have that amount of plecos, so I'm gonna fight this back. But that just shows that I usually say that you don't need extra nutrients, and you don't, especially if you don't have, if you have a lot of fish. And we have 60 green tiger barbs in here, uh, 20 golden barbs, and six. Fire mouth cichlids. And this is the one that I already kept in the old apartment because I wanted to see how fast they grow uh, or growing and if it, the Fahaka would attack it or hate it uh, and if it would be smart enough to stay away from it and stuff like that because this is going to be the home for the Fahaka in the future. But right now, the Fahaka can still live for at least another year in another aquarium. So I was thinking. 15 months of keeping something that I think is fun to keep meanwhile I'm waiting for the Faka to grow up uh, that is worth it even though we'll see what happens with the other ones I'm not just gonna put it in and let they all let them all be food but I think the fire mod cichlids are gonna stay and I'm gonna be able to live with them but the other ones I don't think so but in the meanwhile they are really fun to keep so it's a new scape and like I said, I'm not super happy with it now. This is more for me to see how it looks now, so I can see in two months. Oh, I can compare it to the video and see how oh, this looks better and this looks like this and so on. So I'm almost documenting for myself now. Uh, yeah. So this, I really like the Firemount Cichlids. I always like them. And um, these are not by any means fully grown. But this is almost a year old at least, so it's pretty much like this, but they kinda they can grow to like that, so they're gonna look even better. This is the first one, that's why I keep filming because uh, it has the most colors. And the colors are gonna get better and better. And the ca camera is pretty scratched up, that's why the picture quality is pretty horrible, but it's good enough. And if you don't know, uh, this aquarium has an auto feeder and actually two FX6 filters and the old school uh, Eheim classic, really huge one underneath here. So it's super over filtrated right now for these fish, but the idea is to have to be able to do like 50% water changes every 12 days even when you have a fully grown Fahaka when you feed handfuls of shells uh, of um, what do you say Shell shellfish and stuff like that so right now it's super over filtrated but yeah looks pretty good it's also black gold knife in here and two bristlenose plecos long thin ones just to help a little bit with the, <laughs> the algae problem and the black gold knife is just like I said something fun to keep So, the 175, as of now, we'll see what happens later. 